But the idea is that we've evolved with plants and plants don't just give us food, they give us warning about the future. And when plants are worried about their own survival, let's say they don't have enough water or they get too much sun, or in the case of green tea and matcha, they don't get enough sun. They put out these molecules, they make these molecules so they can survive. And these are molecules that we're, most of us are familiar with. There's, there's quercetin, phazetin, resveratrol from red wine, uh, oleic acid from olive oil, there's curcumin. All of these molecules are made, many of them are called polyphenols. These are chemicals with little circles of carbon, that's called a phenol. And, uh, and they're linked together. And over the years, over the centuries, we've learned that these molecules from plants are very healthy for us. And what I've been uh, saying in my uh, research and in my, my book is that perhaps it's not their antioxidant activity that's so important. In fact, many of them are really terrible antioxidants. Resveratrol isn't great. Uh, it's Vitamin C is way better. But it's resveratrol that protects you against a Western diet uh, and lowers blood sugar. So what is going on? And so Conrad Howitz, uh, another doctor and I, uh, about 10 years ago came up with this concept called xenohormesis, X-E-N-O, which means between species. And hormesis is the term of adversity. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you actually stronger and longer lived, we think. So xenohormesis, uh, the idea is you want to eat plants that make these molecules. Red wine is a good example, but also matcha tea, but we tend to look for plants that are colorful because colors come along with these polyphenols. And we look for foods that are, are not uh, handled with kid gloves. So if you go looking for food and it's, let's say you find a lettuce that's watery and pale and not very green, that's the opposite. Those plants won't have a lot of these polyphenols, whereas the bright green and red and orange ones and the drinks that are full of color, like red wine in moderation, uh, have these polyphenols. So why do they make us healthier, we think? The idea is that they give us a heads up as to uh, what the future looks like. And if the food is stressed out, our food supply is, is running out, we need to get ready and hunker down or actually defend ourselves against inflammation, against DNA damage, against radiation coming in. And so we, we when we eat these polyphenols, we've seen, and certainly in test animals in the lab, remarkable health benefits that translate in the case of animals, into longevity and protection from a bad diet, as well as mimicking exercise. And so we call these molecules xenohermitins. And we think that this theory explains why antioxidants haven't been as successful in the longevity field as we once thought. Um, and actually what they're doing is turning on our body's natural defenses against disease and aging.